Hi everybody, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new release for Team Yankee, a World War III miniatures game from Battlefront Miniatures. Uh, this box set is the A-10 Warthog Flight for the uh, U.S. side. It contains two uh, one, 144 scale uh, A-10s. Now this box set does cost about uh, 45, 47 U.S retail. I think with tax it came to about $50. Uh, so it's pretty pricey. You're only getting two A-10s in this box set. Well, let's take a look at the back. The back we have uh, an example of a painted miniature as well as uh, assembly instructions. Looks like a resin and metal hybrid. And then contents. Two A-10s. Two flight stands, decal sheets, rare earth magnets, and a unit card. Alright, let's open this up and see what we get. Alright, so you get uh, a plastic clamshell. Looks like the unit card's there. It's packed by Nori. Thanks, Nori. So opening this up. We've got the unit card. We'll take a little bit closer look at that here in a minute. Some foam. Looks like it's protecting the models. Looks like we've got uh, the front half is nice resin cast. Second one. Looks like a little cleanup for the resin, but not not much. Looks pretty clean, which you'd expect for a new, new mold. Like the uh, back half of the fuselage. You've got two of those. Until these are have a lot of mold release on them. They're they're pretty slick. They look pretty good. got a decal sheet magnets it's like we've got two flight stands so these are the same kind of flight stands that the uh, helicopters get however it looks like it also comes with two Rods, typically with the uh, aircraft versus helicopters, uh, those are used on a taller uh, flight stand. And lastly, we've got, uh, looks like these are resin, so it's not a metal uh, hybrid kit anymore. These are all resin. So those are the uh, vertical stabilizers for the tail, it looks like. Got engine caps. Four engine caps. And looks like a whole boatload of bombs, mavericks to add your underslung weapons to your aircraft. So we'll go ahead and spread this out, take a look at everything all at once. Alright, so here are all the contents for the aircraft. Again, you get two A-10s with this set. Um, the A-10 itself is really just three pieces. It's the forward fuselage, the aft fuselage, and then the, the tail to put it all together. Um, the engine caps there. You do get, um, looks like six Mavericks and four bombs. Um, so you get 10 pieces of ordnance, which matches the and hard points on the bottom of the aircraft. So you should be able to model it with a full loadout. Now it doesn't give you an option to shake things up, so this is what you get. Um, you don't get anything else really with it. But you've got enough to make the plane look like it's fully loaded, which is good enough for me. 
Um, what's interesting is the um, the plane itself, these darker pieces, that's Battlefront's traditional resin, at least it feels like it to me. It's solid, strong, uh, not bad at all. These lighter pieces are seem like a flimsier resin. Looks like they're they might be cast differently. Um, they they seem lighter. Um, haven't cut into them or sanded them. I don't imagine it's going to be any problem. I mean, it's got uh, very nice detail on it. Doesn't look like it's cast as cleanly, or perhaps they just uh, spend more time cleaning up these pieces before they they put it in the. Uh, the box. Um, the missiles too, I notice are going to take some work to clean up. There's some flashing and other things there, but nothing you wouldn't expect um, when you deal with resin models. And I think that's one of the reasons why they went with plastic for um, some of the, the kit. Alright, so um, there you have the, the actual contents of your box set. Um, we do have the unit card here. So in game, the A10, you can either take uh, two or four A10s. They're pretty pricey. Each A10 is uh, five points in the game. And uh, your standard game is going to be around 100 points. So this box uh, bumps up your army by, by 10 points with two A10s. Um, the A-10 is pretty cool, it's got special rules, anti-helicopter, so it can shoot down helicopters, brutal, um, which means infantry and uh, unarmored tank teams uh, reroll successful saves, uh, guided heat, one shot, and uh, strike aircraft. Um, so it's uh, got some cool rules there. On the back side we've got the stats. Um, the Important thing here to note is it's hit, hit on a four, so it's hard to hit. Uh, Flames of War terms, it would be a, a veteran. And it's got a three plus save, which is better than the uh, SU-25 that the, uh, the Frogfoot that the Russians get. And that represents uh, the A-10's legendary uh, sturdiness and um, resiliency under fire. Then we've got the weapons in game. It's got its 30 millimeter Gatling cannon. Um, which is a very respectable uh, anti-tank of 11. Maverick missiles, which have an anti-tank of 27, which is pretty nice. And the uh, cluster bombs, which is a salvo, which uses those big templates uh, and gives you a one-shot uh, big explosion. So you've got a couple of uh, tools in your toolbox when you have the A-10, uh, some long-range Mavericks, giant cluster bomb, or switching to guns and taking care of things old school. So there you go, that's the, the card. All right, next up we'll uh, assemble one of these and take a look at, at uh, what it looks like once it's all put together. All right, so uh, it took about 45 minutes. I washed these and assembled both of the A10s. Um, I did not add the ordnance underneath um, just because it makes uh, painting uh, easier when the aircraft is clean like this. Um, I did notice a couple things for assembly, just some tips. It's very important that you get the uh, forward and aft fuselage lined up correctly so it's nice and straight and plumb. Um, it, it's a loose connection so you have to kind of fiddle with it and hold it uh, until your glue dries, uh, but it's important to make the, uh, the aircraft look good. These lighter pieces are that uh, softer resin uh, easy to carve up and clean. It cuts like uh, cutting a bar of soap. It's a very, very soft resin, so you need to be careful uh, while you work on it, but um, otherwise it was um, pretty simple to, to work with. The uh, model itself comes together really nice. Again, this is 1 144 scale, so it's a little bit smaller than 1 100 15 millimeter scale that everything else in uh, Team Yankee is. But again, if you're a Flames of War player, this is uh, not news to you, all of the aircraft uh, for Flames of War are uh, 1 1 scale. So there you have it. Um, we'll pull out some other models so you can get an idea of the scale compared to one another. Alright, and now with these models assembled, let's take a look and uh, compare them to some other aircraft from the earlier Flames of War range. Uh, we got the A-10 here. Um, this is a 
Flames of War uh, P40 in the same scale. Uh, British Typhoon. And this is from uh, Tour of Duty. It's a Sky Raider. Kind of gives you an idea of the uh, size compared to other 144 scale aircraft. Then uh, also comparing it to the actual models in Team Yankee, we have uh, Abrams. An M113 VADS. And uh, Cobra. Now the Cobra helicopter is the only thing that can be uh, confusing for some people since the helicopter itself is in 1-100 scale so it's in scale with the tank and the uh, APC. The airplane is the only thing that's a smaller scale at 1-144. Uh, so there you have it. That is an example of some of the other models in the Team Yankee range compared to the new a-10s. Alright, so there you have the look at the uh, new A-10 Warthog uh, flight from Team Yankee at Battlefront Miniatures. Um, my final thoughts on this kit, you know this is an expensive kit. Uh, like all of Battlefront's aircraft miniatures, you're paying a premium. So each one of these A-10s runs retail about uh, $22, $23. Uh, so this box is close to $50. Uh, when you compare that to the American starter set, uh, Bannon's Voice, which gives you um, five M1s, uh, two helicopters, and an objective, you might not seem like you're, you're getting your money's worth with this kit, but if you're used to Flames of War prices, that's pretty much what you're paying for aircraft, about $20 or so. It comes with the aircraft, the flight stand, the card, everything you need. Now there are other sources of aircraft in this scale. You can usually find plastic kits in uh, 1144 scale that might be out there that you could use as alternatives or placeholders but these are nice because again you get the card the correct flight stand everything you need so not um, a must-have buy like um, the rest of the team yankee range that we've had so far but still pretty nice i'm pretty happy with these models and the way that they turned out so there you have it thanks for watching um, if you like please feel free to subscribe to the channel leave your comments down below let, let us know what you think about uh, the A-10 for Team Yankee. Thanks and have a great day.